Welcome back to another video about Project Blast Coaster. So in my last video, everybody was commenting about how they think it's Intamin, I should be paying attention to the threaded rods, and that how I think it's wrong that it's not Intamin. So I want to back that up. I want to back that up. So basically, I, I do still think that there's a chance that we could be getting an Intamin. Uh, I think all the Wonderland fans really want that Intamin coaster. And trust me, I do too. Int Velocicoaster is my favorite roller coaster, so for me saying I don't want Intamin would be crazy. So I also think that there are still other manufacturers that could be kept on the tables. So I think Vacoma, Zamperla, or Mach are still very likely options for our new coaster. And specifically Mach I wanted to touch on in this video. Sorry, my phone's going off the hook now with sources and friends messaging me because I told them I was making this video and they're all giving me advice on what I should say. So. I wanted to talk about mock. So one of the reasons why I think that it is a mock, specifically a mock striker, is this photo right here. So this is a photo of Guardian's overlay of the layout, how it fits in the mountain, and I drew up some lines that show the trajectory of some of the launches or paths that the coaster could take. So the gray one up top there is the maintenance tunnel, don't worry about that one. I drew this one up a long time ago, but then the green one and the orange one are the ones you need to pay attention to. So the orange one is the old maintenance tunnel that has been refurbished and that's over by Guardian. And the green one specifically is the one I want to talk about. That is the tunnel over by Thunder Run. And look how perfectly that lines up with the perfect empty plot of land in the middle of Vortex's turn on the top of the mountain and where there's no Guardian track whatsoever. So I do not think that the coaster would have a, cur a launch and then a pull up into and out of the mountain, I do think that this could be potentially be a vertical launch. And what manufacturer does vertical launches? First one that comes to mind for me is Mach because Voltron just opened and I've been eyeing that ride for a very long time up until this point. Intamin has taken a shot at a vertical launch before. So that's why I'm not really into Minette. That's why I'm saying they're still they're still a contender. They have done Storm Coaster out in Dubai. That is a three car train, so it seats twelve riders to a cross, and it has the same Velocicoaster style of restraints and everything. I do think that ride is a bit too low capacity for a park like Canada's Wonderland. If you look at a mock striker coaster, however, Voltron can run up to I think six or seven trains. As a moving platform the trains themselves have four rows so they seat 16 riders but i'm pretty sure that they can put a fifth row if they really want to to accommodate for 20 riders that's up to the park's discretion uh, but the amount of trains that they're able to run is actually crazy like five or six six to seven trains is a lot the launches themselves like the booster launches if you look at voltron those booster launches be between the valley of that zero g roll and that one of those immelmans is actually a block section so if a, tr a train is able to stop there safely if the next block zone ahead is occupied. So I just wanted to keep that in mind for you guys. This is why I think that a mock striker is more likely than an Intamin vertical launch roller coaster. If we do get an Intamin, I don't think it would be a vertical launch roller coaster. I think if it was an Intamin, I think it would have five or six car trains like Pantheon or Velocicoaster. If it is a mock striker, I do definitely think that this is a really likely option because Voltron Nevera can actually do 1,600 riders. That is the same amount of riders that Yukon Striker, Behemoth, and Leviathan can do when before Behemoth and Leviathan had seatbelts, that's the number of riders they were able to do per hour, which is a lot of riders, and that is exactly what Wonderland needs is another high capacity roller coaster. There is another piece of information I do want to talk about. So I was talking with one of my friends. By the way, this is not my idea whatsoever. I do not want to take credit for this because I think my friend whoever thought this up was genius about this and connecting the dots. We were talking about different possibilities, but when it came to the topic of a mock striker coaster, they remembered that a park in, that park in Austria that has the Snoopy's Racing Railway clone is also getting a mock striker coaster in, I think, 2025 or 2026 or something. And Art Engineering actually subcontracts Mock to do the track for Snoopy's Racing Railway and the other clone in Austria. So both parks are getting a Snoopy's Racing Railway clone and a Mock Striker coaster. So not my idea, just something that somebody brought up to me. Definitely a key piece of information to hold on to because 
Ma could have struck a deal with Canada's Wonderland, just like Cedar pointed with Sam Perla to do Wild Mouse and Top Thrill 2, and Wonderland could have done the same thing with Snoopy's Racing Railway and Project Blast Coaster. So I thought that was very, very interesting, and I just wanted to bring that up and be the one to say that. So keep that in the back of your mind. Definitely I would not rule out Vacoma since they are working on Snoopy's soapbox racers down at Kings Island, so I would still keep them there as well, but in terms of most likely, definitely for me, either Intamin or a mock striker coaster, specifically a mock striker coaster due to capacity reasons with having the moving platform. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will keep you guys updated if I hear any more information about manufacturer, supports, track. Track's gonna be arriving soon. It'll be arriving a lot. I'm assuming July or August. Assuming, assuming that. I don't know. I have no clue, but it's gonna be very exciting when it does. So stay tuned for that sometime later in the coming months. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and take it easy. I'll see you later.